Backyard Barbecue is Barbecue X, man. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Out here sitting in front of my Weber Kettle Grill, man. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all got one of these, man. And y'all curious why I have this out here. Because I'm not doing a barbecue. Uh, not today. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, but, you know, I always got some stuff coming in the mail. And I'm back, so I guess people start realizing. And, uh... People that super clean decided they want to uh, send me a package, man. They want me to do a review on it. So you already know how I roll with the review, be the raw and uncut. So since I haven't used this in over a year, we're going to see what it do, y'all. Oh, let me show you what's in the box. Then I'm going to show you just how dirty my, uh, my grill is. Got some uh, super clean here. This for tools, grills, driveways, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Got some more here for uh, foams away grime and brake dust and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, this is the potent here. Appreciate that super clean. Hey, oh, this two are the same. Yeah. No. This one do foam. This one for engines and stuff. This might be actually super potent. Maybe I should read the instructions. I went and bought me some scrubbers, right? Greeny weenies. That's what we call them. This right here, super clean aerosol can i like this kind right here this right here brakes grills engines i don't know if y'all can see that super clean got me another spray bottle i always use them some instructions right here the dilute chart tell you everything on how to dilute it uh but we going hard and clean with this we ain't diluting nothing today oh, oh they gave me a couple of uh, Yeah, the sprays are going on top of the uh the lids. That's cool, man. Oh, what's this? Super clean. This thing says, "Hello, D. Thanks for giving Super Clean a try. We look forward to hearing what you think about the results. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you, Jess or Jessica for long. So shout out to them and Super Clean, Jessica." Y'all think I'm joking, man. Here go the little thing, the little note. Shout out to y'all. Uh, and we're gonna go from there. So give me a second to get situated. Hold on, let me show you this grill. And then we're gonna come back. I need to pull the water hose out here. And then we're gonna go from there, y'all. Give me one second. Look at my, hey, don't laugh at my grill, man. It was uh, unprotected in the elephant. Elements. To my elephant. Woo. Now that grill great. I might just buy me a new one of them. But y'all can see. I got my uh, slow and sear in there too. We're gonna uh, get this thing going, put some water on it, and then put some foam on it, let it sit, and then see what it do. So give me a sec, man. We're gonna change the game up, and then uh, we'll be right back, y'all. Yo, yo, we back, man. This your boy. Hey, I forgot to tell you. Your boy is super cleaned up. <laughs> got me a hat too. Yeah. Hey, don't hate. Get you a barbecue channel. Thanks, Jess. I needed this right here in the arsenal, especially this hat. This hat go real good. You know, I like to uh, match. If you had not looked at all my other shows, I'd be kind of color coordinating or whatnot. But anyway, I just wanted to show my hat and my, uh, my shirt. Um, and we're going to get started, y'all. I'm going to go on, take this stuff off of here and uh, spray it with water, like I said. Uh, it's going to be hard to show y'all the uh, the process just because it takes a little while for the, uh, the foam to sit up and eat it grease. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all the beginning and, and y'all seen the beginning. I'm gonna show y'all the uh, the after too so y'all can see that um, Grill kind of bent somebody somebody bent my grill uh, Anyway, we're gonna get started y'all so bear with me. I might fast forward this as I'm going through just so you can see uh, But anyway, let's get to it y'all Super clean Super clean Yeah, I'm wet my chair up too Get all this piling off my top. Uh, right now, I'm killing everybody being on the ground. Just because I'm going to clean it out. Top ain't too bad. But the rest of it, this grill great. Man, this thing had it. My slow and sear. Hey, look at my other videos if you haven't, don't know what a slow and sear is, man. This thing here gets busy. 
Shout out to the guys over there slow and sheer. Hey, I'll put the link in the comments below so y'all can see where to get the products from. Um, or see, um, check out some of my other videos with the slow and sheer. I do have a couple cooks with that in my recommendations on whether they work or not. But we're gonna see what to do with this, uh, uh, with this uh, super clean. Cause I'm used to using uh, Fabuloso, Awesome, stuff like that to clean the grill. Uh, they even got this stuff at Home Depot, uh, the uh, supposedly grill friendly item. To be honest with you, once heat hit everything, don't even matter. I tell you what though, this will go good for uh hey comment below if you ever if you ever had a grill that you let sit up and then uh what is it fungus or something on there? Is that what it's called one? That little fungus uh bacteria or whatever sit on there? Because you need to clean it off and you come back maybe a month or so later. And uh you realize man. Oh here we go. I thought I was getting old man. Hey boy, I'm always misplacing some stuff. Yeah. There we go. Look at that phone, y'all. Hey, I'm getting it on me. I guess I need to be clean, too. Hey, be quiet. <coughs> hey, get you a mask. This stuff here pulled. Nah, but seriously, though, yo. This stuff, uh, I put my nose in there while I'm spraying it. Spray it up real good. Come back with another one in a minute. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and let me bring this over here. Hey, y'all, look at my pond, yo. Hey, I threw some bread out there. Hey, comment below, man. Tell me what you think is in here. Ever tell you a little story as I'm cleaning about what I saw. And you know me. If you know me, you know I don't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this while I'm at it. Hey, I'm gonna use this stuff heavily because it's free. <laughs> nah, I, I wanna see what it truly gonna do. It's been a year. Um, like I said, uh, grill's just been sitting up. It definitely needs a thorough cleaning. Like I said, the grates are probably gonna replace them because it was about time. Uh, I might be able to salvage them depending on how this stuff falls off. But we're gonna see. Give it a good burn in. Let me throw this, the slow and sear on there too. Everything getting to cleaning today. Where my dog at? We get her out here too. Oh man. Hey, while I'm at it, man. Shout out to my dog Titan man. My dog passed away while we're gone. My black dog, if y'all hadn't seen him in one of the other videos, he was a uh, black uh Labrador. He passed away while I was gone. I don't know, man. He was like four years old. I don't know what he passed away from. Uh, but uh who that grease coming off already? He wasn't four years old. He wasn't four? How old was? <laughs> oh, okay. That's even worse. My dog was younger than four years old. Older than he ain't had no little puppies to, uh, to uh, carry on his legacy. <laughs> I'm just respraying this grill, y'all. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna let this sit. Uh, I know this ain't meant for here. For, for, for the ash catcher, but we're gonna spray everything. We wanna see how strong this stuff is. Hey, I might be the new uh, Mr. Clean right here, man. Hey, I'm about to hit uh, what they do, pine saw? What's Mr. Clean on? Oh, Mr. Clean product? Man, show you how much I buy them. Hey man, y'all got a product? You want your boy to review? Hit me up. I'll give him the truth. So we're gonna let that sit. And then uh I'll be back, y'all. So stay tuned. Alright, y'all, we back, man. And uh we're gonna go ahead and uh see what this thing do. Let me get my green wing and put some some water on it. And then uh Let's scrub this thing down. Let me see if I can get a close up. Yeah, 
that's a good side for y'all. See what this thing do. Now keep in mind, like I said, this is over a year of just sitting up. So I probably have to do this a couple times. I don't know how this stuff works. Uh, been reading up on it, but God, duh. Even the crud coming out of here. So I probably, if I let it sit, it'll probably, probably get a whole lot better. So it's probably gonna need some thorough cleaning. Hey, I'll tell you what though. All this stuff coming out, boy, this grease. Oh, this a degreaser too? Yeah. Yeah. Let me just go do a couple sides and then show y'all what it looked like. And then come back after I completely clean it. And then uh oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gotta put some elbow in it though. I'll tell you that man. I ain't never cleaned it this good. I used to put light fire to it. Keep going. I can actually see the, 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 the chrome now. I don't know how hard I'm going to clean it, but I can tell you this stuff right here, eating away at this this uh extra layer of uh seasoning. So I'm going to have to season this thing, take some fat. I got some pork belly now I can use to clean this thing, but I can tell you. Just by doing this, let me clean this side real quick. And then uh show you what it looked like. Even the leftover charcoal, man, that's in here coming clean. Yeah, look at that. This junk just coming right off. Look at that. That ain't me. I ain't never got that off. Glad I got some grass, y'all. People sneaking up on me over here. Look at that. Yep, that greeny winnie that had it. So, let me grab this tripod real quick. Show y'all what this stuff looking like. Maybe I should grab it with two hands. There y'all go. Let me get the water hose real quick. There we go. Spray this thing off. Yeah. Yeah, this thing started like a grill. So bear with me, like I said, I'm gonna clean the lid, clean the lid, and uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, y'all, we back. And uh, yeah, I let it sit for a little while, scrubbed it out. This thing coming, man, this thing almost, almost brand new. And this is, keep in mind, this is only about 30 minutes of me just cleaning. So I'm gonna keep cleaning it cause I'm not, I'm not gonna cook on it for a little while. Um, cause I just wanna see how clean I can get it. Um, yeah, we're gonna see what it do. Uh, oh, let me show you. Let me show you what this thing look right now. Just keep in mind, it's like 30 minutes of me just scrubbing it. Look at it. Still got some gunk in there. But they ain't got nothing to do with the degrees, so that's uh, water when ash mixed together and just sit there. Oh, let me show you this, this, my little, dang, this catcher here. I ain't never seen this thing come this, this clean. And it's, I'm still scrubbing it and it's coming, coming clean. I'm just messing around with the bottom. And this is just what catch ashes. I don't care what it looked like, but just to test the supplement out, this thing is eating everything away. So I'm gonna just keep, I'm gonna sit there in the bottom right now, let it dry out. And uh, let me put the top on here real quick. Y'all see my grates over there? Uh, hold on, let's see if I can get them in the camera. They over there. I'm gonna sit them in a solution, in a bucket, and just see if uh, just see how long with the degreaser, uh, how long it, it takes to uh, come clean. Oh, let me show y'all something right quick too. We talking this noise, but new crib. We was talking about the new crib. See that upstairs right there? That's part of my sitting room. Now I can sit out here and watch my meat cook from inside. I don't care how cold it is. From inside my own bedroom. Anyway, pay no attention to the doghouse. Oh, I think my previous video I was talking about my fire pit. Y'all see that? You know I'm gonna get my sand out and beautify that thing, light it up for y'all so y'all can see um, what we doing. I'm just having fun, man. Like I said, uh, 
Let me set this up and turn around and talk to y'all real quick and send y'all on y'all way. <clears throat> and what I got going on for the future, man. Like I said, this super clean, man, I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10, to be honest with you. Just seeing what I seen and knowing how hard it is to clean these grills. Uh, and I use my toughest grill to clean. Just for the simple fact it's been sitting up for the year. Uh, I'm gonna clean my Smoky Mountain Web I got on the patio right here. Um, that one's gonna be pretty easy just because it's it's completely porcelain and nothing really drips in there, just in the bottom of the pan. That one should be fairly easy, but I wanted y'all to see one that gets the rigor the rigorous, like cooks in and out, and the heat source being so close to the meat. I want y'all to see how this product works, man. Oh, before y'all go, I want y'all to see this. Look how clean this top coming off. This right here, I'm gonna show y'all a picture here, real quick caption the before and after. And y'all tell me if this super clean work. What am I, what do I have? Oh, we're gonna cook a brisket and maybe one or two Boston butts uh, tomorrow on Big Bertha. So stay tuned for that video coming real soon. Um, yeah, I gotta get my skills back right, y'all. I got people already calling me uh, to do gigs and stuff like that, or even just asking for prices. So, um, and I hadn't even really been broadcasting, just me yapping my mouth, and y'all know I love to talk for whatever reason. Um, they say, but this stuff here, man, this super clean. I ain't even tried this one right here. I was spraying it in there just to see what it do. And it was just eating at the, uh, eating at the, uh, the grease that was coming out. Even when I was spraying with the water hose. It's just dripping, even now it's dripping out with a brown color, man. So, like I said, it's gonna take me a couple times to clean it just cause it's been sitting up. But I wanna take one of my toughest projects and just test it out, man. They say it's uh, at least 10 times better than the next product, uh, cleaning agent. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe the orange or something. Or maybe some simple green or something like that. I don't know, who cares? I know this stuff works. And I know how hard it is to clean these grills. So I'm gonna give this thing a thumbs up. Super clean. Y'all definitely got my thumbs up, man. Uh, if I had a stick, I'd put it on my grill, but I know it'll burn off. Um, just like the one on my Kamado for the uh, the uh, the, uh, the basket that I got for my Kamado. But anyway, um, be on the lookout, like I said, for my next cook. Uh, I got some more cooks coming up. Uh, hopefully I can do this uh, Memorial Day cook. Uh, it's a two-day event. Uh, I don't wanna spoil it. I don't know if it's gonna go down yet, but we'll see. If not, I'm gonna do a Memorial cook anyway. Uh, this stuff, man, if, I wish y'all could see it. It's just dripping all brown. Um, and as I talk, I'm gonna continue to squirt this stuff. But yeah, man, um, super clean. If y'all out there, hey, send me some more of this stuff, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? I should have a logo on y'all stuff. Cause I like this purple shirt. And uh, I like this purple hat. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Got to blush it over here. Stop it. Anyway, hey, send me a couple more of these shirts, man, so I can rock these different colors and the hat to go with it. That way I can match, color coordinate. And uh, I'm going to do some more reviews on this stuff right here. Just cook, uh, cleaning all my barbecue stuff, man, just because I like it. Um, I try to use it sparingly, just because I don't have that much of it. And uh, I actually saw this in Ace Hardware Store the, uh, today, actually. I was like, oh, these people here big time. I had never heard of you guys, man. So salute to you guys uh, for getting a new buyer of your product. Um, I'm definitely going to support y'all. Thanks for that. Uh, and those of you out here cleaning your grills, get your, just get your bottle, man. Just try it. Get your little can or this foam or whatever. Just try it, man. This stuff is legit. Legit. And y'all know me. If it don't work, I'm going to let you know. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to send you on your way. It's Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, man. Uh cleaning up my tools and stuff. Getting ready for other cooks. Uh, trying to get the house in order so I can show y'all uh, 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 how we gonna do it out here. I ain't set up, I know y'all see grass out here. Um, that's not my future envision. Uh, this grass gonna come up. Um, if, if the HOA let me. You know, I'm reading the doggone bylaws and all that crap. And uh, can't just build like I want to in my other house. Like I could just build a, a barn if I wanted to. But out here, gotta follow by some rules. So we're gonna stick with it. Uh, got a, got a fence coming uh, to hide my gear. 
Just got the nosy people over there. Well, soon to be nosy people. So if y'all see me, uh, up and coming nosy people. Anyway, this is your boy, Mr. Big from Backyard Barbecue. Saluting everybody representing uh, everything that goes on uh, in the community of barbecue. So if you got a channel, hit me up. I will subscribe, subscribe to you, you know what I'm saying, as you doing me or either watching my videos. I definitely look out for that because I'm always looking for something new. Um, and keep representing, y'all. Keep grinding. The barbecue war is back on, y'all. Who's up next? Myron Mixon. I'm watching you, man. I'm watching you. I'm coming. I'm coming. But anyway, this is your boy, Mr. B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos. I let your boy.